Hello guys, welcome back to another Android material design tutorial. Today we are going to learn about how to create a floating action button in your Android application. Open Android Studio and start a new Android Studio project. Specify an application name. Select an empty activity. So first you need to add the needed dependency for using floating action button. So open your Gradle script file and add the needed dependency. So I copy this statement. Now change this one into design. Now make a project sync. Okay, now the project sync is success. Now open resource folder, open values folder, open dimensions.xml and add a new dimension. So I copy this one and change the dimension name into FAB margin. Uh, this will be the margin for the floating action button. Now we need to add some image asset. So right click the application and create a new image asset. Change that one into action bar and tab icons. Select an image, browse for image. Select an icon from your computer. So this is a compose email icon. Change the name into IC Action Compose. Change the theme into Hollow Dark. Okay, now we can add a floating action button. So here I am going to add a coordinator layout. Specify the width as much parent. Height is also much parent. Now here we can place the floating action button. So add the floating action button. Change width into wrap content, height into wrap content. So now here place a floating action button. Now we need to specify the position. You can specify the position using the layout gravity attribute. So now here I am going to specify the position for the floating action button by using the attribute and throw it layout gravity. Here I need to specify, I need to place the FAB at the bottom, at the bottom end. So I have to use the value bottom end. Okay. Now we need to specify a layout margin for the floating action button. So until it layout margin. Okay, now we successfully add a floating action button on the activity main.xml. So this is the default background color of the floating action button. By default, the floating action button uses your application accent color as its background. So if you want to change the default background color, you need to add another attribute called background tint. For that, you need to add an additional XML namespace. So here I copy this namespace. Change this one into resource auto. Now change the identifier name into app. So by using the newly created XML namespace, you can change the background color. So app and use the attribute background tint. Now select your favorite color. So here we successfully change the background color, default color of the floating action button. Okay, so now I change that one into color accent. That is better. Okay. 
So now this is the default size of the floating action button. There are two variants are available. First one is a normal size and second one is a mini size. So now if you want to change this one into mini size, you need to add another attribute called FAB size. So now I change that one into mini. So now this is the mini version of floating action button. I change that one into normal. Now we can place a background icon for the floating action button. So you need to add another attribute called SRC. So enter it SRC. Now specify the background icon. So now we add a background icon for the floating action button. It is a Compose email icon. So now we can learn about how to handle the click events of the floating action button. For that, we need an ID for the floating action button. So specify an ID for it. I name it as FAB. Now we need to create a new activity. So create a new activity. Select an empty activity. Specify an activity name. I name it as Compose. Now go to the newly created activity layout file. Add a larger text view. Uh, compose email from here. From this activity, you can compose a new email. So we have to start this activity when user click the floating action button. So now create some variable for floating action button. Now initialize the floating action button variable. Now find it. Type cast that one into floating action button. Now find it. Now create the click listener for the floating action button. Set on click listener. From here, we have to start the newly created activity. So start activity, specify the indent, new indent. First argument is the context. Main activity dot this. Now specify the target activity class name. Here it is compose dot class. Okay, here now here the application available on this virtual device. Here is the floating action button. So now I click the floating action button. It will start another activity. From this activity, you can compose a new email. So this is how we use a floating action button in your Android application. I hope you understand the concepts. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.